Hey guys, it's Rick Brown with the Brown Home Group. Again, another weekly inside scoop with the Brown Home Group. This is our Meet the Team Monday. And as you can see to my left or right, depending on where I'm at, I have Blaine Weicker, who is uh, you're the uh, next to the newest member of the team, right? Yeah, second newest, yeah. yeah. If we want to consider based on being a real estate agent, right? So, yeah. Yeah. Um, Blaine actually came to me. Well, actually, I found Blaine through Chelsea Herring, who I thank um, for uh, introducing me to you. And um, when we were really having some struggles with our marketing and how we wanted to get our team uh, branded, you uh, you've taken our team to another level altogether. I think. I know we, I tell people this all the time, but I think my Instagram was like at 1900 followers. No, I was 1900 following. Yeah. <laughs> I think we had 190 followers. Yeah. A little bit backwards. But yeah. A little backwards. And you kind of educated me and said, Hey, you know what? We need to get rid of some of these people. They're not following you. You shouldn't be following them. Right. Yeah. Now I think we're at 1900 followers and we're following yeah. like 900 or something. So, yeah, something little like things yeah. like six hundred. So I know we're gonna get to get to know a little bit about who you are and where you grew up and all that mm -hmm. good stuff. But based on where you came from in the in the social media side, what I mean, how did you really become about social media? So I actually had friends doing the same thing, building their own businesses. So I'm like, you know what? I understand marketing a little bit. <laughs> I uh, I understand social media, so I gave it a shot. Um, started doing free work for people around my area, like Lake Mary Sanford. I uh, did some work for a gym. Um, and then I found a real estate agent who really likes my work, the way I presented to myself. So uh, he gave me a shot. Um, and then it, it led to another real estate agent. And uh, eventually met Chelsea, which is when I met you. So yeah, uh, yeah, that's how that came about. I just, my first business venture, I guess you could say. That's very cool. Yeah. And like I said, what you've done with our team has been um, just amazing and for those agents out there that are you know starting a team or putting a team together I really can't stress enough that having a good social media platform how important that is and you would agree with that wouldn't you Blaine oh for sure yeah, yeah. everyone's on the internet nowadays so yeah so, so then you've gotten your real estate license as you got I guess bored doing social media and you decided it was time and uh so tell us a little bit about where you grew up I don't even know. I mean, this is, I'm actually, so, I, I grew up all over central Florida, really. I mean, I've lived in Lake County, Seminole County, Orange County. So wait, County. I've lived Floridian? all over. What's that? Are you a Florid Floridian? Yeah. Yeah. I've lived here all my life. I've just, okay. uh, I've been around. I've been around for sure. Okay, cool. So, um, you said Lake County, Seminole County. Yep. Yep. So Where, a kid, uh, my grandma. I went to Seminole High School um, and then transitioned over to Seminole State College. Okay, so you kind of stay you local. actually live in Sanford now, so you kind of have stayed yeah. there through high school and into college, and yeah, you now you currently reside there. Yeah, I don't want your address or anything, but uh, I, <laughs> I don't think I want to share that yet. <laughs> no, okay, that's all good. Um, now, are you married, single? What's the situation? What's the dating? Uh, I've got an amazing girlfriend. Um, okay, but yeah. What's her name? As, as some people, uh, Michelle. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, I think we haven't met her yet. So, you say hey, she came to the uh, to the Christmas party, not the Christmas party. It was at Stephanie. Stephanie's get together. Oh yeah, that's right. Don't say yeah, yeah. It wasn't a made up thing. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, no. So, um, so when you, I mean, I know you're young. So your first job, you should probably remember. What did you? Do? Oh yeah, so. I worked for Target for about four years. That was my first job. And what did you do for Target? Uh, I started as a truck unloader um, or, you know, backroom person. It really depended on the day. So okay. I do all the, the stock in the back, unloading the truck, early 4 a.m. shifts all this time was my, yeah. my first job. So, um, And then I actually, you know, would work another part-time job on top of that until I, I went to GNC. Gotcha. Um, so which was actually I forgot to ask you, like, do you have any hobbies? I love martial arts. So yeah. kickboxing, jujitsu. Uh, I love hanging out with my family and friends. So Yeah. And, Those and are my two main two main ones. 
And <laughs> real estate is probably a nice hobby for you too. Oh, for sure. That's definitely number one. Right. Yeah, because uh, I know that I always have my bodyguard next to me whenever we go anywhere. So with that, <laughs> right, right. You yeah. Hopefully, you never need me, but I'll right. be there. Well, I appreciate that. So um, another fun fact that you could tell us is what was your first car? Uh, 2004 Honda Accord. Oh, wow. Yeah, I went, went to the dealership with most of the money um, and then ended up having to finance a, a little bit. So, you know, ended up, it crashed, crashed it about four months later too, which you definitely crashed. did not help me. With, well, someone, someone T-boned me and then, and then ran off. So uh, oh. it, it got totaled and had to, had to end up getting another car, but that was my very first, you know, the one that I bought. So Wow. Okay. So um, you mentioned uh, GNC. I know that um, that was your last job at, um, before you yeah. got into real estate or before you started working for our, with our team. Um, what did that look like? Where were you, you were doing? So I was a sales associate. Just, uh, you know, I'm really into nutrition and working out and exercise and all that kind of stuff. So um, that job really interested me, learning a lot about nutrition and, you know, amino acids, proteins vitamins, all that kind of stuff. And, uh, right. and I actually, I'd have to say that contributed the most to, um, you know, what I would consider my success in real estate, uh, just being able to be in front of people and uh, educate them and just be of value. Um, I think that was the biggest takeaway from that job for sure. Right. Awesome. So do you have any kind of favorite memory growing up or anything that you'd uh, want to share? I wouldn't say anything particular. I would say uh, a collective few memories from racing bikes. I would constantly be uh, traveling, racing with my friends. So we're always hanging out on the weekend. Hey, racing bikes? Yeah. Yeah, I used to race BMX. Oh, did you really? Yeah. Like over the Backland. dirt and stuff? Like in, over, the dirt? over the dirt? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Dirt that jumps and all that, that kind of stuff. Did you race, like, not professionally, but did you race, like, competitively? Yeah, yeah, I used to, I actually been to the national championships twice. Um, didn't do very well, but I was, I was there. Um, and awesome. I used to race all over the Southeast, anywhere from, from here to Oklahoma and then up to like Ohio, Kentucky. I used oh, wow. to race all the time. Yeah. Serious, serious competitor. Yeah. yeah. Did well? And like Maria's son. Yeah, I did, I did pretty good uh, for the time that I was in, you know, the racing, but uh, eventually got into boxing and you know, kickboxing, and that's that's kind of where I left off. And that's how you got into the too? So, yeah, yeah. So I know this is going sideways on this conversation, but you also wanted to be an MMA fighter, didn't you? Yeah, that's definitely on the bucket list. I want at least one fight, so we'll see we'll see where it goes. But and do you? Yeah, I have train? to do one fight. Do you train for that? Yeah, for sure. So I mean, I do primarily a lot of grappling and, and wrestling, uh, jujitsu. I'll do kickboxing every once in a while, but I train at a, a very good gym, Jungle MMA. We actually got a couple UFC fighters. Um, oh. One's about, about to be fighting for a championship, so I got a good group around me there too. So That's awesome. I, I feel I feel good about getting at least one fight in eventually. So I, I gotta ask, you have something that you might be willing to share with us that nobody would know that that Blaine Weicker does is has crazy maybe something that can you think of anything no i mean i mean honestly okay, so I, I, know I, you did jiu-jitsu so that's uh that's yeah that's that clear, right i don't i don't look like a very dangerous guy or anything so <laughs> i look like a pretty cuddly bear so, right. yeah that's something people usually are surprised by but uh i guess a weird thing it used to be kind of a uh, a big thing when i was a kid because all the kids would make fun of it but i don't have belly buttons so I actually just have a scar going up my stomach. Wait, really? Uh, yeah, yeah. Kids used to heckle me about that all the time. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's definitely something <laughs> that I learned. It, it, it's, it's a weird thing, but hey. So, share it, right? okay. So tell me, how did you uh, end up getting into real estate? Well, as a kid, I've actually always been interested in real estate. And once I turned 18, um, I really wanted to invest. Um, and, and when I had got the first client for marketing, uh, the first real estate agent, he's like, you know, the best way to get into it is really just be an agent. And I'm like, you know what? That sounds like a fun time. So I right. decided to give it a shot, got my license, and uh, met you immediately after I got my license. So that's where my real estate journey picked up. Yeah. 
Yeah, because I know when we met, you had your license, but you weren't actively mm -hmm. using it. Right, yeah. Yeah, I'd just gotten it, like, two weeks before we had first talked, so. Right. And um, what what's the best, what, what has been the best thing about being a realtor? And if, if you could go back, what would you do differently, if anything? I wouldn't do anything differently so far. Um, maybe maybe a little bit more education to, to start off right off the bat. Um, right. But no, I'd say, I'd say the number one thing right now is definitely my team. Uh, I can't thank you guys enough for supporting me. Um, and then the second best thing is just, just being able to work for myself and help people that I want to help. It's, I, I love my job. I don't feel like I work. So that's probably the best part about it. Yeah, no, absolutely. And uh, if, if someone's watching this right now, if they get this far of this interview or this conversation that we're having, uh, so. by getting into real estate, what would you say to them? Like, is there anything, any advice that you might give them? Just take the leap. I mean, the, the only way you can get into it is just to do it. Um, yeah. You know, it's, it's a struggle at first, but just take the risk. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what you did too. I know that it is a financial, you know, obligation and there is right. an, an expense. Nobody just walks into becoming a realtor and you really right. do have to uh, be willing to take a leap and, and invest in your own business. Yeah. Right. Sure. So and in yourself. Yeah. So what is it like to being on a team? Um, you never really had the, uh, the single agent, um, feel or the chance right. to do it, be a single agent. What's it been like being on a team during this COVID-19? It's been, been awesome. Uh, you have, like I said, just nothing but support from the whole team. So I can't, I can't imagine what it's like being a single agent right now and not having people to bounce ideas off of and learn from and, and try to grow together. I think that's something, you know, everyone needs, whether you're a single agent or not, you need to have a good network of people around you for sure. Yeah, I kind of feel the same way. I mean, I feel like as a team, we're a family. And oh, yeah. Yeah. we, you know, we have those conversations, those heart to heart conversations when somebody's hurting on the team. It's nice to have somebody to, you know, pick you up or if you're struggling. And then also it's not bad to hear about, you know, when you have a success, like you've had many successes in the short time you've been on our team. And I always screw up how long somebody's been with me. But what has it been? Six months? Yeah. So I think I got on right at the end of October. So yeah. Okay. Five, six, six months okay. maybe. And just in five, six months, I mean, you have just knocked it out of the park. Um, trying to. <laughs> so trying to keep up the momentum and, for sure. And, and a kudos to you and your work ethic. You know, um, the making yourself accountable and how you you spend your time and being purposeful in what you, your time is being used. So, you know, we know that in real estate, um, lead generating is pretty much everything. And if you're doing that, you will be successful. When and how and how long will really depend on the time you put in. But I can honestly say that I've been thrilled having you on our team. I don't plan on letting you go. So if you, ever decide, if you ever decide you want to be a single agent, well, tough shit. That ain't happening. Well, I mean, crap, my bad. But overall, is there anything you'd like to, because um, we're about done with our conversation, and mm -hmm. um, I appreciate you being here, and I appreciate you being on the team. I know I speak on behalf of Jeannie and myself um, and the rest of the members of the team. Um, the positivity that you bring to the team, the positivity you bring to the market center, I think that's one thing that if I could give you any criticism is that I feel like as successful as you've been in a short amount of time, I'd really like you to step up in the market center and, and really tell your story um, because you have been um, one of those lights that came on like a gam busters. Um, and, you know, it does take, it, it takes hard work and you're putting it in, it's not gonna come to you overnight and you've proven that um, day in and day out. So I feel like um, other agents could really benefit hearing that from somebody who's doing it. Right. So I would say you know, maybe that's a goal for you to maybe look at 
when we get past this whole COVID-19, get back yeah, in the market yeah. center. And, you know, uh, I've actually had the, that conversation with David. I mean, you know, we know what position he's in right now with us. So uh, I'm hoping eventually when I get to where he's at, I, I want to be able to teach people and do classes and stuff like nice. that. Cause, you know, I feel like I've learned a lot just in the past six months, let alone a year, being with you guys. So right. you know, I can be more grateful for that and the opportunity to be on the team. Uh, and I just need to get, get that back. Yeah, exactly. It's like pay it forward, right? Yeah. And within our market center and our culture at Keller Williams, I mean, that's what we're all about. It's about mm -hmm. the culture and helping other agents. We don't feel like we're competing in our market. Yeah, I mean, we, you know, we're, we're always competing, as we know, but we always want the other person to do good. We always, you know, clap for successes. We're there for each other when we need to be. So, absolutely, uh, that's, that's definitely something about the culture of KW that I love. And if any agent, you, know, you always feel like someone's doors open. Absolutely. And if there's anybody out there that's concerned or has questions about wanting to get into real estate, um, please reach out to us. Um, you can call me at 407-383-1866. And I'm getting a little bright here with my son. <laughs> um, we also have a career night that we do twice a month or once a month, I think right now, that is going to be a Zoom this next Wednesday. I'll be doing that career night. So um, I'll have you <laughs> put that into the um, – uh, link underneath if you're interested in getting on the career night um, it's 5 30 to 6 30 Wednesday and um, I'll be just talking about what real estate looks like the next chapter and getting into it and uh, right. hey I appreciate you being on is there anything you want to leave us with or anything you'd like to say before we signed off nothing in particular but I do thank you for the opportunity for sure it was a pleasure being on yeah, no, absolutely. And I know that, like I said, um, uh, I don't look at this as uh, um, the interview that I, I really wanted this interview to be about you and who you are and meet the team because I know from each person I've interviewed, I've learned multiple things now with you. Yeah, yeah. New things that, you know, being a family, I think it's awesome that, you know, we can, uh, we can talk like that. So um, thanks for being on. Um, Guys, we are going to put this up on Monday. Um, it'll be uh, on our page at KW Brown Home Group. Check it out. And again, as always, if you're looking to buy or sell and you need any help with real estate, this guy right here can definitely help you. Um, why don't you shoot out your uh, Why don't you shoot out your phone number? Yeah. So my cell phone number is three eight six four seven nine zero four five six. Absolutely. Call me or text me at any time. I'll be working around the clock for you. So. Yep. And if you're an agent out there, you're already with Keller Williams, you can definitely reach out to Blaine and talk to him sure. um, about his, his career path and how he took it and what that looks like. Um, and if you want to sit down with myself, obviously uh, I make myself available as well, um, whether it be through a Zoom. So, hey, Blaine, we can't thank you enough for being, uh, being on the team. Uh, we look for great things more, more great things, not great things. You're already given us great things. Uh, right. I know we have a lot in the pipeline, a lot of things, a lot of positive things to look forward to. So thank you again. And uh, as always, guys, this is Rick Brown with the Brown Home Group at Keller Williams, along with Blaine Weicker, saying make it a great day. Have a great day, guys.